Last June, at the end of a week, when nine men and women were brutally assassinated by a racist young man in a church in Charleston, South Carolina, I walked the long rectangular room at New York's Museum of Modern Art, where Jacob Lawrence's migration series was on display. I had seen many of the paintings before in books and magazines, but never in person. I'd somehow expected them to be as colossal as their subject, the 55-year-plus mass migration of more than 6 million African Americans from the rural South to urban centers in the Northern United States, beginning in 1915. The 60s spare and at times appropriately stark tempera paintings are underscored by descriptive captions written by the artist whose parents moved from Virginia and South Carolina to New Jersey, where he was born. I longed to be in the presence of Lawrence's migrants and survivors. I was yearning for their witness and fellowship to borrow language from some of the churches that ended up being lifelines for the Great Migration's new arrivals. But what kept me glued to these dark silhouettes is how beautifully and heartbreakingly Jacob Lawrence captured black bodies in motion, in danger, and in pain. Thank you.